beginning with thir verse 13. Now, I've got a little inspiration this morning. Hallelujah. Amen. After we've been working here all week long. Matthew 16, 13. When Jesus came to the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Who do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some Elias, or Elijah, and others Jeremiah, or Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. He saith unto them, But whom say ye that I am? Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon of Jonah, for flesh and blood have not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. Now look at this next verse. And I say also unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I will give unto thee the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. What a great thing. I want to preach just a little bit in your hearing this morning. Church under construction. Yeah, that's good. That ought to preach. Huh? Let's put our Bibles down. Let's just lift our hands. Let's just worship God this morning. God, we thank you. Lord, your word is already anointed. God, I'm just asking you to help me this morning, God. Lord, to follow your will, God. In this service, help me to follow your spirit. God, I'm asking you, Lord, that you would just speak through us this morning, God. Help us to be sensitive to the Holy Ghost, God. We'll give you the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Let's put my hands up. I love you, Lord. I glorify you, O God. I thank you, Lord. I praise you, God. I magnify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. You can be seated. Good to see Matt back with us this morning. Amen. I work with Matt. We have some pretty good, pretty good conversations at work sometimes when we get a chance. We, of course, I work in the uh, in the uh, construction end down there, deal with all the contractors, and he works in the hardware, just the next department over. Amen. But we we see each other quite a bit, but most of the time I'm running and he's running, so we don't get a whole lot of time to sit and talk. But Every now and then we do. We've had some really good conversations. God's leading this young man, amen, and guiding him, amen, to all truth. Amen. The Bible said when the Spirit of God comes in, he will lead you and guide you in all truth. Then how come there's so many people out there that when God tries to lead them into truth, they, they don't seem to ever get a hold on them? The Bible said to buy the truth and sell it not. Mm. You know why those folks don't ever come all the way to the truth? It's simply because of the fact they're too attached to this world. They refuse to let go. Amen. In order for God to give you everything God's got for you, you got to be willing to let go of everything. Hallelujah. Amen. This world is not my home. I'm only passing through. Hallelujah. Amen. The old song said, my treasures are laid up somewhere beyond the blue. Amen. I want you to know today I'm not attached to this world. This world doesn't hold anything for me. Hallelujah. Oh, uh, many years ago, over 44 years ago, I walked to an old-fashioned altar. I stayed in there on my back in sawdust at the old campground until 2 o'clock in the morning when God filled me with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. And you know what? It changed me. It, it gave me new direction. Amen. I'm not the same as I was then. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's get on our scripture this morning. Matthew 16. And I want to take, amen, verse 18. And, uh, of course, you, you heard this, this song, the uh, scriptures I read it, and you're hearing. Amen. He said, I say unto thee, if there are Peter and upon this rock. Now, he was not talking about Peter. I'm not going to build my church on you, Peter. Hallelujah. Amen. Well, what was he talking about then? The word Peter comes from the word Petra, which means little stone. Amen. God's not interested in building his church on something that's not going to hold anything up. He can't build it on humans because humans are weak. Humans are frail. Humans have uh, a little situation in our lives that, uh, where all of a sudden we get discouraged real easy. God don't 
don't need to try to build on a foundation of weak human beings. So what was he talking about? He was talking about the revelation that has been given to you, Peter, is what I'm going to build my church on. Hallelujah. Amen. That I am the Christ. I am the one, amen, the Messiah that the world is looking for. I am the one, amen, that has the truth. In fact, Jesus said it this way, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Hallelujah. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Well, does that mean there's a separate entity flying around up in there? No, the Bible tells me all the fullness of the Godhead was in Jesus bodily. If you saw Jesus, you saw all of God. <laughs> Every attribute of God was in Jesus. Amen. Uh, you know, this walking on water stuff. He had control over the elements. He's asleep in a boat. All of a sudden, a storm blows in. Guess who? Brings a storm. Amen. The Bible said, amen, it tells us and lets us know that Satan is uh, the prince of the power of the air. You ever think about this? Why it is that we have so many problems in our society today? A lot of it comes from television. A lot of it comes from uh, the radio and, and the songs and junk we listen to. Amen. Guess where that comes? It comes through the air. Guess who's the prince of the power of the air? The Bible calls him. We've been working on his case this morning. When I get through here this morning, I hope to have him stomped in the ground. Amen. Amen. I, I want to reveal to you who he really is this morning. Amen. He's not here to help you out. He's not your friend. Amen. The Bible said he's come but for to steal, to kill, and destroy. Jesus said, I'm come to give you life and that more abundantly. Hallelujah. Oh, but I, I want you to understand there's a church that God said, I'm, I'm going to build my church. Hallelujah. Upon the revelation that Jesus is the Messiah. Hallelujah. I'm going to build a church upon the revelation of who God really is when he wrote himself in flesh and he came to this world. Hallelujah. The Bible said he came to his own, the Jews, and they received him not. And then he opened the door to the Gentile nations. Amen. And they readily accepted him. Amen. Remember oh, oh Nicodemus in, in Acts chapter 10. Amen. Hey, here he is. He's just a Roman centurion, a Roman soldier. And guess what? They were very much hated by the Jews. Amen. The Jews did not like the Romans. Why? Because they were oppressive. Amen. They, they were there to destroy. They only had one mentality, and that was destroy and conquer. And, and, and that was not the way these guys were built. And so the Jews hated Amen. The Romans. And, and the Romans ruled them with an iron fist. And so they just basically cowered down in, in their little corner of the world and then let the Romans rule them. But Jesus said, no, no, no. I'm going to show you something, folks. Amen. The very enemy of your soul, the very one that you think, amen, that God would never use is more than likely the one God's going to pick. Hallelujah. Amen. The one that gives you the most trouble, the one that you deal with all the time in the physical, we're not talking about spiritual here, we're talking about the physical. Amen. That person, amen, may be the very one that's the key to your church. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord, well, I just don't see that happening. Amen. The Jews hated the Romans. And so God said in building this building this church and then the construction methods that I'm going to use. I'm going to take some of the most unlikely foundation materials. Hallelujah. And so he started. Uh, the Bible said that Jesus Christ himself was what? The chief cornerstone. Everything back then was built off the cornerstone. Amen. In fact, uh, right now, if you go to Jerusalem, in downtown Jerusalem, at a red light, there's this big, big stone, and it's got some etchings on it, and uh, they found it in the wilderness outside the city of Jerusalem several years ago, and they took some heavy equipment and went out there and brought it into the city. Why? Amen. And who did that? The Temple Mount Faithful 
uh, did that. Uh, Brother Gershon Solomon, I call him brother. I mean, he's really not a brother. He don't have the Holy Ghost. He don't even believe in, in, in the Holy Ghost. But uh, Gershwin Solomon is the head of the Temple of Mount Faithful.